Problem three looks like something straight out of your trigonometric nightmares. Yeah, this really is something. So we're going to integrate it using the force. But I'm kind of, you know, running low on the force. So we're just going to use the Dirichlet kernel. And there's a reason that these two fractions have been written in such a highlighted way, calling the integral i as always, so we have something to refer to. Anyway, there's a reason they're highlighted, because these are the perfect structures for using the Dirichlet kernel, which is a wonderful relation stating that the sine of n plus 1 half of phi divided by the sine of phi by 2 equals 1 plus 2 times the sum over k from 1 to n, of the cosine of k times phi. So let's work out what exactly here is phi and n. Well, you have sine 50x, right? So that means phi should be 100x, so that you get this sine 50x term down here. So replacing phi by 100x, so you can write this as 100kx, all right then. And same thing over here. And if you have 100x over here and n plus 1 half here, you can run through the math. You still need 100 over here. So you want n to be 100. And I can replace this n here by a 100. All right. And what about the other fraction here? Well, this here is the sign of... You should have a 102x term so that you have sine 51x uh, down here. And again, sine... Uh, and again, you would need n to be a 100. Okay, and this equals th 1 plus twice the sum over k equals 1 to 100 of the cosine of 102kx. And wait a second, we already have one sum over k, right? Multiplied by another sum, so we should change up the index variable. We should use j for this one. So yeah, this is much better, 102jx. And okay, this looks extremely cool. No doubt, this looks extremely cool until you actually, you know, uh, plug in and multiply terms and integrate. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually pretty simple. So this implies that i equals the integral from 0 to pi or 2 pi? It's 2 pi. The integral from 0 to 2 pi of the cosine of 2022x times 1 plus the sum over k from 1 to 100 of cosine of 100kx. Uh, terribly sorry about that. So cosine 100kx. Uh, plus, uh, no, wait, 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 the two fractions were being multiplied. So multiplied by 1 plus the sum over j from 1 to 100 of the cosine of 102 jx. Okay, cool. Although this looks daunting, you actually have some pretty satisfying results popping up here. So you have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of a lot of stuff, and one of those... One of that stuff is the cosine of 2022x, okay? And if you integrate the cosine of 2022x from 0 to 2 pi, you're going to get a sine of 2022x divided by 2022x. So just plug in 0 or 2 pi, you're going to get 0 anyway. So let's just ignore this term here because it evaluates out to a 0. And you have this sum over k from 1 to 100 of this cosine 2022x times the cosine of 100kx uh, plus multiplying it out forward, you're going to get a 1 times all of that stuff is going to give you, wait, I'm kind of mixing, nope, I'm not mixing it up whatsoever. The sum over j now from 1 to 100 of cosine 2022x times cosine 102jx. And you're also going to have this double sum here over k and j, both running from 1 to 100 of cosine 2022x. So, okay. And wait, these coefficients of 2 that I forgot, not cool, not cool whatsoever. All right. So... You can write this as 2 times this, 2 times this, and 2 times 2 is 4. All right. Cosine 100kx times cosine 102jx. And let me just close this. I'll close the big old braces we have here. Okay, now once again, we need a careful dissection of the problem. 
this is the product of cosines. If you use those product as some formulae from trigonometry, then this product of cosines results in a difference of cosines. And the arguments of those two cosines are going to be even integer multiples, right? They're going to be even integer multiples of x. Okay, so once again, if you integrate those, you're going to get sines of even integer multiple of x. And if you integrate from 0 to 2 pi, you're going to get zeros again. So both of these sums just crash down to 0, which is pretty damn cool. Now that was awesome. That simplified our work quite a bit. But we still have to deal with the integral from 0 to 2 pi, 4 times this integral that is, of the double sum over j and k from 1 to 100 of cosine 2022x times cosine 100kx times cosine 102jx integration with respect to x. Okay, now what? Well, we could expand using those product of sum formula again. But I love using complex numbers whenever I can, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So you can switch up the order of the integration and the summation operators because obviously what we have is convergent. So we have 4 times the double sum over j and k of the integral from 0 to 2 pi. Now how exactly do we define the cosine function in complex analysis? Well, it's defined as e to the argument that is 2022x times i. So that's 2022ix plus e to the negative 2022ix divided by 2 times this e to the 100kx plus e to the negative 100kix, forgot the i, the most important ingredient, the imaginary unit, divided by 2. And I've run out of writing space, so let me just make some adjustment over here regarding space. So we have, uh, we're left with e to the 102jix plus e to the negative 102jix divided by 2, integration with respect to x. And now we have to multiply out these terms. And you can notice some really nice patterns over here. I mean, you don't even have to perform all the manual multiplication. I mean, just looking at it tells you that, okay, the denominator is going to be 8, right? So let's just get rid of this. If the denominator is 8, so that cancels out the 4 pretty nicely, and we have 1 half outside. Okay, cool. And just looking at the terms being multiplied, you can decipher that you're going to have an e to the 2022 plus 100k plus 102j factoring out an ix and you're also going to have a plus e to the negative of all of this stuff i'm pretty sure that's clear to everyone watching so that i don't have to perform the manual labor so you can do that if you want anyway so we're going to have this term because of all the terms included, you're going to multiply everything out, right? So you're going to get pretty much every possible combination with the plus and minus signs. And this is equal to twice the cosine of this terrible argument that I'll write out later. I'll write this out later, okay? I will. Because I have to integrate it. I have to integrate the expression in uh, this color, whatever this color is called, I forgot. Anyway, so we have to integrate this. And... I'm going to have to write it out, so yeah, be patient. So we're going to have this term with the uh, 2022 100k and 102 being added, but we can also have them, we're also going to have them with alternating signs, right? And all of them are going to be two times cosines. So factoring out the two, that means we have two by two outside, which cancels out pretty nicely, and we're left with the double sum over j and k, of the integral from 0 to 2 pi of, I'm going to need a couple of big braces, 2 times the cosine of 2022 plus 100k plus 102j x plus, uh, wait a second, I factored out the 2 already, plus the cosine of the other combination is 2022 uh, plus 100 minus 102, right? x and one more would be the cosine of 2022 minus 100 minus 102x. And there's still one left. Yeah, I should have a cosine of 2022 uh, 
minus the 100k. Forgot to write the index variables and in all of this chaos. Really sorry about that, guys. My bad. Anyway, so you got 100k plus a 102jx. Yeah, that should do it. Indeed, it should. And again, a careful analysis of all the terms involved. You've got, you've, you have four cosine terms. And 2022 plus 100k plus 102j is going to be some even integer, right? So integrate this, you're going to get a zero. If you integrate from zero to two pi, that is. So yeah, just scratch this. Get rid of it. We don't need it. And what about the other terms? The other terms are pretty interesting because they have some negative term in the mix as well. You got this negative 102 or negative 100k or both of the k and j terms being negative as well. So there are combinations of integers for j and k from 1 to a 100 where these arguments all just cancel out to zero. That means you have the cosine of zero, which is one. And you can test those combinations out as well. And you will get one term each. You will get one term each uh, for every, uh, I mean, you will get one combination of J and K each for, three, for these three cosine terms. So you have all that's left from all of the chaos of J and K is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus 1 plus 1 dx, which is 6 times pi, which again agrees with the answers provided by MIT. And I think it would be nice if the viewer also investigates the zeros of the argument as I did before and when I solved it. So yeah, not exactly very fun, but it's kind of cool if you think about it. It is kind of cool.